I should, should nice to meet you. Nice. You have a lovely home, by the way. Thank you. You've gone into NYU. Yeah. And you've gone in on ED, which is even a bigger feature than it already is. So how has that experience been for you? Um, it's been quite a good experience. I'm quite excited. Mm-hmm. And I've got my results early, so I'm kind of stress, stress, stress-free also. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited, looking forward to going. Yeah. So Shresh, what subjects did you pick when you were going to college? So I've applied through mathematics and yeah. I've quite a keen interest in both mathematics and computer science. So I'm looking, I'm looking at something that kind of intersects in an intersection of the both of the fields. Okay. Something like data science or data analysis. Nice. I'm looking at that right now. So how did you come to data science? Um, just researching. Um, I picked the subjects I like and that excite me. Mm-hmm. And I was just looking for something that would, um, that would be a good career opportunity that I would enjoy doing. So I've come across data science. Nice. So in school, where, where did you study? So since seventh grade, I studied in Sanskriti school. Okay. Yeah. Before that, I was in a vapor. Nice. Yeah. All right. And what what board did you do, by the way? CBSC. So did you pick your classes in school? Like, what did you pick? We t- we to only pick when we reached eleventh grade so okay. after the tenth class boards. Mm-hmm. So I picked the I picked science stream, mm-hmm. so physics, chemistry, maths, and computer science. How did you find it, by the way? Like, you know that that studying period because when you're applying to colleges and all that, the applications and the way you speak and how you write your papers and essays and everything is very different, right? Yeah. So how did you adjust coming from CBSE? It it was a it was an interesting process, I would say. Mm-hmm. It was quite different from what I've been doing since I was younger. Yeah. So it took a little time to adjust to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but with the help around me, I was able to. Do it. How about you tell me about your common app essay? How did that go for you? It was an interesting experience for like the first month or so. I wasn't able to pinpoint on a single thing mm-hmm. uh, that I would like to share with them or talk about. Mm-hmm. But then I decided to talk about um, what had impacted me the most, which was me moving here. Mm-hmm. So I was I just talked about my experience in Adepur, my experience here, and my maternal grandparents live in Nepal. So mm-hmm. my experience there wow. and how all of these cities have shaped my qualities. So can you tell me about the things that you did in school? Uh, I started in 11th grade when I decided I wanted to apply to the US. Okay. So I had to like form a good profile within a year and a half. Mm-hmm. So I decided to pick up on uh, many activities at once. There were already some activities like I used to play cricket for the school team. Mm-hmm. But then I decided to get more into volunteering, not just for the sake of the application, but just to help the community and to learn something from the experience. So you said you were the captain of the cricket team, right? Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, playing cricket also like led to quite a hectic day for me. So I used to wake up at five, then go to school, play in the school for an hour and a half, then attend school, mm-hmm. then come back, then do my academics and balance extracurricular activities with it. So it was quite hectic, but it was something I really enjoyed. So even waking at waking up at five in winters didn't seem like a <laughs> task to me. Yeah, I was. I looked forward to going to the school and play every day. Mm -hmm. So it was just, it was just like me getting a, me getting a couple of hours free to myself doing what I can now. Cosmos Space Initiative Club. Yeah. What is it? So me and my friend, uh, we were both quite interested in space when we were younger. Mm -hmm. But as we grew up our interest, we lost interest in it. There wasn't really um, much of an initiative by the school to keep that interest. But mm-hmm. for us to like take that interest to a career initiative. So what we decided to do was to open a club or an initiative, you may say, for for space loving enthusiasts. And we start it from a younger age. So it's basically from grade one to grade eight. Okay. We basically conduct monthly activities, quizzes, um, maybe some interviews or maybe some spokesperson who can give a lecture in our school. Mm-hmm. So that the opportunities we missed out on, the younger students can continue that interest and yeah. Like, that's really nice. Did you actually get anyone like interesting to come on board and speak for the school? We got the ex-chairman of ISRO, Dr. Oh. S. Somnath, for a lecture in our school. Wow, that's so cool. And how was that lecture? Insightful? Yeah, it was just after Chandrayaan 3. Uh-huh. So student, students were quite excited about I it bet. and he told yeah. us the full story about it. That's so interesting. He was quite devastated after the failure of Chandrayaan 2. Mm-hmm. So basically how he motivated his peers to go through the whole process again uh, and that he was very excited and very happy about the success of the Chandrayaan 3 after 
encountering a failure. With the space initiative, yeah. did you get any reviews or did the kids say anything? I'm assuming they were really excited to hear about all of it. Yeah, the kids were really excited. So and we created a community. Mm-hmm. So whoever is interested, whoever is excited, whoever has any ideas about this field can join it. So we gathered over 100 250 members in that from our own school. Nice. They would yeah. pitch in their ideas about what we can do and mm-hmm. how we can help them. As as NGO you worked alongside with them right so basically it was an initiative by our school so the NGO had partnered with our school there's a batch of underprivileged students in our school for each grade mm-hmm. so we had to volunteers volunteer hours after school to help them with subjects like english and mathematics okay so i was a mentor for them okay so weekly i gave in about 2 to 3 hours after school mm-hmm. teach them stuff we got a group of students we had to teach them new concepts and basically help them with their academic problems did you participate in a lot of competitions i did participate in a lot of competitions i participated in all of the competitions related to sports yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, there was another inter school maths competition which i participated in mm-hmm. which led to the research paper that i published so wow. it was it started from the competition so yeah. we had to give an investigative project for mathematics it was me and my friend uh we were looking for topics to explore and then we came across breast cancer most spread form of cancer is breast cancer mm-hmm. and there wasn't really a way of det- detecting it early which would have been a breakthrough mm-hmm. so we were looking for data and then using that data which had about 160 parameters we created a mathematical model to detect breast cancer early what cells were tumorous and what were not mathematical model which was about 98% accurate so another competition i participated in was infinity mm-hmm. held by the aditya birla group which had students from over 13 countries uh, about 2000 students mm-hmm. so we had a preliminary round we had to form a team of 3 we passed the preliminary round and the final round was in mumbai okay yeah so it was quite a fun experience interacting with so many students coming from different backgrounds mm-hmm. coming from different countries um and it was basically a mathematics competition uh, got a certificate of merit for the same nice yeah. so what what were the questions like what was the competition like what did you tell there was a team round and there was an individual round yeah there were also practical rounds like you were given stuff and you had to form a catapult and whichever team would get the most distance and the most height would win so it really taught me to think on my feet we did we got an r and we had to do it within that hour uh, there was a team round where you were given a bunch of questions you had a limited time yeah. and using the team you had to solve them as and many questions as you can or yeah, yeah, as okay. many questions as you can and then there was an individual round which was like a basic quiz okay yeah cool nice so akshaya patra foundation yeah. so you worked with these guys as well right yeah. there is a team of blue collar workers that worked in their kitchens or as drivers okay. so it was an ngo that delivered food to underprivileged children in schools okay. so there are a team of blue collar workers that worked in the kitchen mm-hmm. or as mm-hmm. drivers uh, they weren't digitally literate all of them had smartphones but they had no idea of how to use it and how to really um like use it to their benefit yeah so um we took interviews from them we asked them how we could help them yeah. like people wanted to know how to send emails or basic stuff like how to link their aadhar how okay. to use government websites yeah yeah so we create, we conducted six workshops with them teaching them this basic stuff and we also created a website for the same where we uploaded the instructions for basic things like how to make a video call how to send an email how wow. to open a bank account so that we could help them through this. That's really nice. I'm sure that made a really big impact for them because I don't think they would have ever had an opportunity otherwise, right? I think yeah. they'd be very slim. Yeah, we uploaded our instructions in both Hindi and English mm-hmm. so that they could really use it, they could really benefit from this and mm-hmm. they they would be comfortable in learning about these things. Yeah. What advice would you give students like currently that are like you know getting into clubs or questioning whether they should or not? Like what would I you think- suggest? getting into clubs is a is a very exciting opportunity mm-hmm. and i think it should be done you should join clubs um of subjects of or of or of areas that you're interested in mm-hmm. it's really it's a really interesting and it's a really fun experience it doesn't take a lot of your time but you'll be able to do what you love so why don't you tell me more about how it helped you in terms of your personal growth and like academic growth i think um the most interesting part about joining clubs mm-hmm. is the opportunity to interact with similar minded people but of different ages mm-hmm. so we get students from grade 1 to grade 12 to join clubs okay. so then you're able to mentor the younger students and also learn from students above you so that mm-hmm. really helps you personally so you, did you have like any group projects like that where the entire club worked on something together 
uh, we had activities we had to participate in where teams were basically formed students comprising of all different classes yeah so we had to solve the problem mm. or things like that in a, all right yeah makes sense now with clubs and all of these extracurriculars and your academics being good how has that shaped you in terms of writing and preparing for your college applications so when you write about an activity it would usually end up in a sentence or a paragraph but when you to actually do it it takes a lot of time and effort mm-hmm. so it's about starting early it's about knowing what you want to do mm-hmm. and then doing activities in that area would really help you which has really helped me too mm-hmm. so when colleges asked me for my interests i was able to explain them through the activities i had done in that field which had really helped me so you've also founded the rescue foundation so what have you done with the rescue foundation what is it about so there was a huge earthquake in nepal in i think in 2015 okay um like a like it led to houses being demolished and many yeah. people died yeah yeah so i was i i had experienced that earthquake mm-hmm. and i saw so many people wandering on their roads who had lost their houses who didn't have food who didn't have shelter yeah. so that really impacted me um so about a year and a half ago i decided to open this rescue foundation project okay which um so we ba- we basically uh went through the roads of nepal finding people who didn't have shelter or food we distributed food to them we distributed beds we distributed clothes and stuff like that to help them mm-hmm. and we also created a algorithm uh which basically identified the top 10 most disaster prone areas in india and how and where should the rescue team be placed mm-hmm. so that it's efficient as well as accurate emails and development of tools for emails Oh so I basically created a project on using yeah. machine learning okay. to identify spam emails okay uh recently for the past couple of years or more there's been a lot of fraud through emails or messages yeah so we created a software to identify emails which were spam and that would segregate it so yeah. that people didn't fall into the trap it was also a personal story cuz my maternal uh, sorry my paternal grandmother had yeah. died due to breast cancer yeah so when I came across it it was also a personal touch so we've decided to publish it okay and we also went to a hospital and talked to a couple of doctors my research paper based uh, my research paper called uh, using mathematical models to detect breast cancer early was also published in the indian journal of science and research so what about internships i did a couple of summer internships one okay. was at decibel systems which is basically a satellite company okay so I didn't get into the technical bit of it majorly mm-hmm. uh, but I interacted with the team how they function on a daily basis and basically how they resolve um problems of people and how they deal with it yeah that was my work here and I also interned at the TMD group um so at their food and beveraging unit so I basically created an inventory software okay. there which would help them keep a track of their in- inventory uh it would alert them when the inventory would go below a certain perfect yeah. yeah how would you recommend people stay managed during this time like organized during this period um it's about making sure you know your deadlines mm-hmm. and then it's about distributing your hours accordingly if something's to be done by day after tomorrow it should be done by today and in case you're not able to do it today you still have a day to think about it mm-hmm. try to complete it as early as possible and try to stay ahead of the deadlines all right and so In your NYU, when you when you were writing to NYU, you had to write about why you were picking NYU. What yeah. was your reason to pick NYU? It's the university, yeah. the research opportunities, and the opportunities that I would get after graduating from NYU. Mm-hmm. And personally, it was also the city. So I'm quite intrigued by the city. <laughs> I'm quite excited to live. How did you hear about Rostrum Education? Uh, one of my relatives is also worked with Rostrum. Okay. And he was like, he was quite happy, and he also got into. a good university nice. so he recommended it i had like a couple of activities at max and i didn't have a lot of time i had about a year and a half so they really helped me identify what activities i would enjoy as well as it would help my profile mm-hmm. so they've helped me throughout the profile building journey and they also really helped me get in touch like with the akshay patra foundation yeah. rostrum got yeah. me in touch with them so i was able to do something that i loved but they they basically gave me the opportunity to interact and get a, yeah that's nice yeah so how was your overall experience working with rostrum it was a really fun experience uh doing it alone would have been quite overwhelming mm-hmm. so they really helped me throughout this journey balance things all the way do what's important like when there were exams um 
reduce the load but then when i'm free kind of increase the load so that i'm able to do whatever i need to by the time i have to start writing essays for the application that's right nice. um uh, first of all my cousin recommended it to me so yeah. i was quite inclined about joining rostrum okay and then um it seemed like the right fit when i talked to the founders and when they told me how they would they were going to proceed with this mm-hmm. and how there would be a profile builder there would yeah. be different people for different things and yeah so and then when i interacted with the counselor and the profile building i think i was really able to connect with them mm-hmm. so it made the whole process comfortable for me nice so what's the to you most about like the entire process with working with rostrum uh, so i'm quite lazy okay and it was them making sure i complete work by my deadline helping mm-hmm. me through it mm-hmm. and also like remind me every few days what i have to get completed so it's their constant support and that how did rostrum help in terms of strengthening your application while you were applying to nyu because you applied ed yeah. right so how did they help you build your application and make it even stronger than it was um they helped me choose out my activities yeah they um they taught me or they taught me the skill of how i should present them uh how i should tell the colleges what i had done and how i could really define my experience in words um they helped me pick out activities get in get um uh, like um get me uh exactly they really helped me pick out activities mm-hmm. got me in touch with some ngos as well uh where i could do some workshops and learn about volunteering and then the ma- and then the major part essays they asked me to write drafts and then they helped me on how i could improve them what i could say what would better map yeah helping me throughout the way um i could contact them at any time and they were always there to support me i told them about my interests yeah and they were able to tell me and identify activities that i would enjoy and would help me throughout this application so.